Hey you guys, it's Monica and welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a kind of what I've learned about Bright Tone, having used it for the last year or so. I claim to not be a master of Bright Tone, but I think I got it figured out now. Um, and so this footage may look a little familiar if you saw my e updated epoxy video because I did both of these at the same time because we are working smarter, not harder. And so I'm using the Hog 20 ounce tumblers. I will leave a link to them below. Hog is just kind of like my tumbler of choice right now. Um, these ones are have the twist on lid. These are the plus tumblers. I like, honestly, I'll prefer the ones with the, with the push on lid as opposed to the twist on lid just because I don't have to worry about where the design is supposed to be when I put it on the cup because when you have a push on lid, that doesn't matter. And so um, I like to prep my cups by just wiping it down with alcohol. Full disclosure, Bright Tone has like specific instructions that they give people in order to uh, like, I guess, get the most out of using their product. But I'm going to show you guys how I do it because um, I'm not fixing to switch up my style. <laughs> and that's just period. OK, so I like to just wipe down my tumblers with um, alcohol and then I'm going to just tape it off and I took it down to my garage and I just spray painted it with fly right. Thank you to the person that left the Rust-Oleum comment because I could not remember for the life of me what <laughs> the name of Rust-Oleum was in the last video, um, that I did for the epoxy tumbler. So thank you, girl. I appreciate it. Um, and that's just what it looks like after it's spray painted. And then I'm going to go in with two colors, sunset and firefly. I always tell you guys, this is not how I sell them. These are just my personal ones, but they're very pretty bright iridescence because it's still summer. Oh, and side note, all the Halloween glitters are out. Um, all the ones from last year about cauldron, toil and tub trouble. And then I will be releasing, um, this year's Halloween collection. If you see in this video tomorrow, um, and I'm going to be doing the Mod Podge method. And so somebody's probably going to ask, why don't you use, um, crystal lax glitter glue because girl why <laughs> um I don't I don't know how much it costs but I'm my assumption is that it is very similar to a um a mod podge kind of glue and so I'm not I didn't I don't feel the need to to buy it and that's just in all honesty again I'm just going to show you guys how I do it and what I've learned about bright tone um I was saying a little earlier I believe bright tones instructions to prep your cups or to like sand them and then clean them. But I feel like you only really need to sand if there's like a finish or like some kind of like weird protective -y layer on the cup. But I feel like Hog doesn't have that problem. And I may just be getting really lucky because Hog doesn't have that problem. So I don't need to sand the cups and just cleaning them and getting any kind of oil, dirt and debris off of it kind of works for me. Um, and so like kind of those just really quickly like introduce like what is Bright Tone? Bright Tone is a water-based a polyurethane epoxy alternative and I, I'm pretty sure I didn't make all that up and I'm pretty sure that is the correct way to, to, to describe it um the bright tone fanatics I think I got most of y'all blocked but if you're new a new bright tone fanatic um please keep it keep it cute and keep it classy in the comments we're nice people over here um we always take constructive criticism but we won't take any kind of wild stuff in the comments because we don't do that and y'all why do I don't know I've been missing stuff because okay so when I post on my business Instagram I immediately switch it back to my personal Instagram just because like I don't do mess I don't do drama that's what my mama always say I don't do drama Miss Wanda don't do drama um and so yeah like but I be seeing y'all be getting into it on the internet like the girls are fighting like what do y'all be having going on like there's in my opinion there's really not much in the crafting community to fight about so the fact that people be beefing is beyond me like I won't get into it but when I do when I do see some things and I catch up on I just be like y'all gotta chill because like y'all don't even be knowing each other in real life like again I told y'all you're not gonna pull up it don't matter so anyways and so let's seal this glitter and so we're gonna make sure we're protecting our finger we should do that tip in all life not just the finger not right now but in other times too if you feel me especially if you're a young girl out here exploring the world protect yourself and so this is bright tone um and so I just I portion it out and I put it in this little bottle so I buy the big quart size one it's just more economical and then like you go through I don't want to like you go through so much of it but like if you're doing a lot of cups you're gonna go through quite a bit of it so it's just better just to buy the big one um and so I seal it with the bright tone as well like I don't try to seal it with anything else because I'm about to do a bunch of layers of this like why am I fixing to try to seal it with anything else it just doesn't make any sense to me and so I do two sealing layers and so people are gonna be like oh but you don't have to wear a glove that's that is very personal um I think that's I think it's kind of personally I think it's kind of nasty to not wear a glove because you know I don't know where your fingers been and so I don't know why you wouldn't want to wear a glove and I'm someone who does wash my hands before I step in my craft room because oils transfer from surface to surface very easily yes I'll be coming here with ashy hands all the time look at my hand right now ashy um but again if you bright tone says you don't have to so again that's this is their product and that's what they say so 
you can do as you choose, but I hope you're at least washing your hands afterwards. I know, I know I've gotten, like, some bright tone, like, on, like, my other fingers when I'm using, like, the little finger cotton. Like, you can kind of, like, rub it off. And I'm sure some of y'all is nasty enough and you don't go wash your hands afterwards. But, again, that's very personal. Um, and I wouldn't eat at your house. And so you can see that, like, I'm doing it one color at a time. Just like I said, these are our sealing layers. So I'm not, I, I kind of count them, don't count them. And so before I go on to seal the next one, I probably should have did the yellow first. But it doesn't matter because I wipe off my finger in between colors anyways. So what I'll do is I'll seal the orange, I'll seal the yellow, and then I'll come back and I'll kind of, like, seal where they meet in the middle at. And I'm showing you this in real time. So take like doing the bright tone layers also doesn't take a long time. It's super simple. Um, I feel like bright tone, like epoxy is one of the things that also give you really good feedback on your finger. And so you'll know when you've put too much on your cup. And I'll, I'll have like a few examples um, where you'll see it in the video. Like it's like flicking off my finger and kind of like dripping down. That's because there's just too much. And so uh, bright tone prefers for you to work super thin. Um, and then when you got when you have too much on the cup, it'll kind of just be like, oh, no, we're rejecting this. We don't want this. Like, you can keep it, girl. Like, it's too much. And so because you have to work super thin, yes, you have to do a lot of layers. Y'all be leaving me comments on, but oh, this seems like a lot of work. It's not necessarily like it's a lot of work. It's just a lot of time. And so Bright Tone recommends that you wait, I believe it's four hours between layers. Full disclosure, I do three hours between layers in the daytime. And then that last layer at night, I let spin overnight to kind of cure everything that I put on there during the day. But with that being said, if you need 15 hours, that's 60 hours per cup when you're doing bright tone whereas epoxy i can get a cup done in a day i've done it if you want to see me do a whole epoxy cup in a day i'll leave a link to that video below um so we're talking something that's taking multiple days versus something i can do in a day or two so yes it is it's not necessarily like i said like it's a lot of work it's just very time consuming because to throw that um that bright tone on there it literally takes two minutes it doesn't take you long at all and so this is me just doing another sealing layer on the cup and i sped this up um, so y'all can just see it though. So yeah, and also I did purchase the Bright Tone Grand Finale, their new one that looks very similar to Polycrylic. I wish I knew some chemists who lived close to me who I could send them this Grand Finale, the Polycrylic and the Hyperion because if I had to bet money, they're all very similar. People like to say that like, oh, it's like a proprietary mixture. It's like, okay, so you put a higher percentage of solids in your chemical composition and that's what makes yours supposedly different and that's how you're getting away with saying it's uh you know your your proprietary mixture but again that's just my personal opinion they're all water-based polyurethane coatings but yeah and so and i'm up i'm thinking about doing a video just in general on different things you can coat with if y'all want to see that let me know also let me know if y'all want to see the hyperion video first or if you want to see the poly the the bright tone grand finale video first um They'll come out a week apart regardless, but let me know if y'all have one y'all want to see over the other. And so now we got that all nice and coated. So now it's time to like really get into these coats. And so I'm not going to bore y'all to death because like I said, each layer takes about two minutes and they go by really quick. And so, and you do it over and over again and you don't change up your method. I found that y'all see, I'm doing lines down the cup. I found that this works best for me. And so you don't do it like an epoxy, like a drop and catch. You literally make like a nice little thin line, take your finger and follow it and smooth it out. A nice line, take your finger, smooth it out. A line, smooth it out. And so that's how I found that works best. And then what, what would these be? <laughs> uh, oh, vertical lines. So not horizontal lines. I feel like, uh, oh Lord, I'm losing words again. I feel like when you're doing epoxy it's more like a horizontal line but when you're doing bright tone it responds better just to doing like vertical lines down your cup and smoothing them out and that's all you do it's like that simple um you can't overwork it because again you're working so thin that because you're working so thin it's drying pretty quickly even you see that the, how this flicking off of my my finger because there's way too much bright tone on my cup now so now I'm just working that out and getting that excess off the cup so it doesn't decide to pull in one place. And it is self-leveling, just much like epoxy. And so at this point, I had done seven layers, including the two layers that are considered sealing layers. And so now we're going to sand it. And so I use just a fine grit paper. And I've with... I feel like you can cheat a little bit on sanding with epoxy, but when it comes to bright tone, you really have to be diligent in how you sand your cup because you really need to sand it smooth. Because I feel like once you do the sanding layer on your cup, 
it really determines how smooth those layers after are gonna be. So naturally you have to sand your cup very smooth in order for the layers that follow to be smooth. I've tried to like cheat on sanding and I feel like I've had to like do more sanding after like two or three layers after the layer I just sanded. So don't cheat and like just really give your cup a really good solid sanding. Get it nice and smooth. Smooth out all those peaks and valleys you may have. And you just want your cup like nice, matte, and smooth. And I'm using a bunch of different sandpaper because I don't know. Like I said, y'all know I got a part-time job waxing now. And so like my hands just, they don't be feeling having to grab anything. <laughs> so yeah, and, um, I think it, it's like a fine grit. Like I said, just pick any kind of fine grit. I don't like using um a coarse grit on bright tone i just feel like it does too much damage to it so definitely stick with fine grit empire bright tone you need to be wearing a mask when you're sanding so keep that in mind all right so that my camera cut off so anyways this is how it looks when it's all sanded down once the camera focuses and you can see like there's like some spots like the like i said smooth out those peaks and valleys but you want it to be like smooth like you can see this cup it looks like it's not the smoothest, but it's very, like you run your finger over it, it's smooth. And that's what you want. So we're going to pop it back on our turner and we're just going to keep going. Like I said, it's a very repetitive process. And I only sand this one time when I do bright tone cups because I used to have, like I said, I used to have to sand more. But once I figured out how much I was supposed to be sanding is when I was like, okay, got it. Once if you do that good sand, those layers that come after, you're going to be Gucci. So yeah, and am I the only person who said that summer's coming to an end? Like I noticed like the days are getting shorter again and I was like, ah. And then like I got like a part-time job now, so like I be inside. So it makes me kind of sadder. I'm probably gonna quit. Cause I don't need the job. I don't know why I wouldn't got it. I'm one of those people that I be doing stuff sometimes and then I be regretful about it. And I'm just like, ooh, let's see if I last to my birthday. That'll have me working there five weeks. So we'll see. All right. So I did three more layers after I sanded. So we're 10 layers in. And so at this point, this is when I'm going to add my vinyl. And so people always ask, when do you add your vinyl? I do about 10 layers and then I will add my vinyl. Of course, somewhere in those 10 layers doing a sanding layer. So get it nice and smooth. And you can definitely sand before you put this vinyl on. But in all actuality, if you did good sanding at those few layers ago, your cup should be really smooth. And I've also found if you do, if you put the vinyl on there too early, It'll look bumpy underneath um, just because there's just not enough layers built up on top of that glitter. So the cup isn't that smooth. So definitely you'll and you'll find your number. I'm sure everyone's bright tone number isn't the same. Like my 15 layers may not be the same as your 10 layers or your 12 layers or your 17 layers. Um, so but I found like 15 is kind of like the magic number when I'm making cups. And so I'm just going to do that and push those down on there really good because I'm not getting like with epoxy. I would seal it. I don't like mixing anything like when I'm doing bright tone like even once I sand I wipe it off with a slightly damp paper towel and I immediately come back and I wipe it down with a dry paper towel to get like that dust off because like I just feel like when you put alcohol on a bright tone surface it like gets like weird and sticky and I don't like that feeling so I don't I don't try to mix anything in with the bright tone unless it's bright tone um so yeah those are just kind of like the tips and tricks that I have learned at up to this point um, like I said, I don't claim to be a master of bright tone. Um, yeah. And so I feel like once I blocked all the people that was talking crazy to me because they didn't like what I had to say about the product in my very first video over a year ago, um, I found a really nice community of bright tone people who give me tips and tricks. Um, I know they like popularize their Facebook page, but I feel like Facebook page are for too many theorists who are very extreme and it's just not, it's, it's not for me, girl. I'm gonna keep it over here in the real world. Um, so yeah, so after I put my decal on, I do five more layers and this is what it looks like when it's all done. So bada boom, here is our bright tone tumbler. And so if you are looking for an epoxy alternative, I definitely think bright tone is one of the ways to go. Like I said, there are more ways that are becoming available that I will be reviewing on this channel. So if you like these kind of videos, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave me a comment. Oh, and really quick, I just wanted to show off the thickness of it so you can see like not it's not thicker than epoxy or anything like that so you don't have to worry about heaviness or anything like that with all the layers but yeah subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one